Hey, what's up, YouTube? Uh, good morning. I, <clears throat> yesterday, got a present from the mail lady, and it's the best kind of present. It's the kind of present you don't pay for. Uh, I got contacted by a company through my YouTube channel. <clears throat> I wanted to send me these LED headlight bulbs if I would do a review. And the good part is, I didn't have to pay up front and get refunded or anything like that. They just ship them free. So, I truly can say whatever I want. And they are still going to be free. Uh, L-A-S-F-I-T. God oh, damn it, I said that again. L-A-S-F-I-T. <clears throat> I checked them out on uh, Amazon. They do have a couple of different ads for like uh, interior LEDs, but most of them, there's only 10 things that I saw. So maybe they're uh, up and coming, but most were headlights. This is the kit, it's only $31.99, which I have a cheap HID kit in here now. And even the cheap HID kit, might not find one for $31.99. <clears throat> and I actually uh, put one in last night, and I am rather impressed. Uh, of course I haven't ran any of the $110 LEDs, which they have some that are up to that much money. Uh, but, <clears throat> so you get a little card that you can join their Last Fit Elite Club and sign up for, to become eligible for free prototypes. <clears throat> and you got a product manual. Ooh, isn't she? This tells you what's in here, removing the bulbs, uh, blah, 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 plug and test. Gives you some product specs. Um, these are okay. So these are the LC6 3800 lumen 3800 lumens of bulb LA series, which I don't have. 3800 lumens of bulb also. Uh, the difference, I guess, is just the chip on them. But then they have an LS series, which is 5000 lumens of bulb. Um, those are the ones that were 110 dollars. Information about warranty, service, some more just a fitment, what style bulbs they make, and it looks like they make the same style in all of them. And pretty much covers about everything. So right off the bat, it's a win a little bit, because look at this. That's mounting your headlight, you got that much wire. Check out my HID kit. Okay. So you got that in there. <laughs> That's how much extra shit is in there. Um, I mean, not all of them will have this box in this wire, but they're all gonna have that wire coming off the ballast. <clears throat> and yeah, I mean, that's just a lot of extra crap to have to be under there. <clears throat> I'll get under the hood in a second to show you. Uh, I have it tucked away kind of out of the way, but um, it's still not near as good as this. It's a pretty cool looking uh, loom around the wire they got. <clears throat> Plug's not flimsy or anything. Uh, not a lot of weight to it, but it does feel pretty solid. Nice rubber, keep the moisture out. Pretty significant heat sink it looks like. Cooling fan built in. <clears throat> and obviously this is one of the nice ones with no external driver, it's all built in. Which I'd have to say probably most are like these days. So the one problem I had was just on installation. <clears throat> GoPro ain't gonna zoom in on it. Maybe I'll zoom in with my phone and take a picture. But this screw right there that holds everything together, it looks like it holds this from turning. There's three other notches, so I don't know if you are supposed to be able to loosen the screw, pull it, rotate it, drop it a notch. It says nothing about that in the manual that I saw. Yeah, so that's not <clears throat> at least in the instructions, but I have one other set in my uh, fog lights <clears throat> that has a set screw that you can loosen and rotate it, so depending on where you want the light output coming from. Um, so the whole issue was it sticks slightly proud of the white plastic. So I was sitting there trying to push it in all different, all three different ways to get the tabs lined up. 
and it wasn't going in. Um, so I pulled it out, looked at it, decided, hey, it has to go this way. Just gave it a little extra force to get that screw to clear. And it doesn't stick further below, really, the tabs. It does a little bit, but not much. So it shouldn't, it doesn't really interfere with the locking part of it or anything. But uh, I did get it in easily once I just looked at the tabs, but it's not gonna be a blind turning until it drops in with the tabs just because of that screw. So I will uh, get under the hood real quick and show you how much more of a clean install these are than the HIDs. And yes, this is a toilet in my driveway. I'm redoing my bathroom. And uh, I felt it was more secure to leave the old used dirty tub out, or dirty toilet out in the driveway than the brand new tub that's around and everything. It's actually much wider than my HIDs. When looking at them, HIDs look a little bit blue. And I actually, I ordered 5,000K. I thought I ordered 4,300, because I just wanted white, white. Uh, they still got a little bit of blue. Looking at the LEDs, they basically look white. Now the light they shine on my garage, my garage is kind of brown though. The LEDs look blue. The HIDs, they look white, but there's the tiniest bit of kind of purple to them, maybe. But it's basically white light. Um, it looks better looking at it from the front of the car. Um, cutoff line is still the same as it was with the HID. It's not affected. I do need to put the halogens back in because there is... The HID and the LED both put like a small rectangle of light a little bit above the cutoff line, but it's pretty dim. I don't, I haven't had the halogens in for so long, I don't remember if they did it or not. So I'll find those, and then later tonight, I'm going to try to go out to like, tried last night, I couldn't find anywhere around here, so there's street, street lights everywhere. So, I'm going to try to go out in the uh, farmlands a little bit more, find something pitch black. Put the halogens back in, just show how much it lights up everything, and then put my HIDs back in. Show how it lights everything, <clears throat> and then put the LEDs back in. Now I'm going to do the LEDs last because I'm pretty sure those are what I'm going to run long term because I like them the most. I would definitely check this company out um, because I was meant to try an LED bulb, but I was thinking yeah, for 30 bucks, <clears throat> how good could they be? <clears throat> I don't want to spend 80, 110 on some of those crazy kits right now. I already got HIDs, I'm not going to worry about it. But, if I would have known this was as good as it is for $31.99 when I bought my HIDs, I wouldn't have HIDs. So, well, we will see later how they fare as far as real world light output compared to HIDs and halogens. All right, all right. So uh, I got my halogens back in. I found them. Two things I noticed: one, I'm not a fan of the yellow light, and two, check out above the cutoff. I think that actually area above the cutoff is worse with the halogens than it was with uh, the LEDs or the HIDs. definitely shows how there's light output above the cutoff line and the LED is definitely wider. It's almost got a little bit of a purple to it, kind of, whereas the LEDs I have are blue, almost more on the green side, but the light output looks so much more even from the LED. You can't tell on camera, but like right there is definitely a nice bright spot 
and then from the right about like here it fades it's not near as bright a couple little areas aren't as bright or well, that's just pretty much an even strip of light just for the hell of it you can see my fog lights the light gets spread pretty damn far out to the sides Same thing here, I'd try to buy a cheap uh, HID kit and they came out looking green, even though they were supposed to be yellow. These are cheap LEDs, they're definitely yellow. But um, the camera on the GoPro makes that look very white. However, in real life, it's pretty yellow. I'm going to drive out to the farmlands find an area, park the car, uh, and I'm going to go from halogen to HID to LED. And then, uh, put my phone on manual mode so the exposure and everything doesn't change based on how bright the light might be comparatively to the other setup. I'll take a picture maybe off to the side, 45 straight ahead, and then I might walk the same distance and look back at the car at the same level and just do that with all three and compare them. And a little tip for doesn't work for the HIDs or for the LEDs, but the LEDs have a big base and they're easier to grab. But just that little square end of the uh, H11, uh, don't force it if it's not right because if you're forcing it, it's probably in there wrong or something or a tab's caught. But still, reach my big ass hands down in there by the light sometimes gets a little tricky and it's hard for me to just use the tips of my fingers to turn it. So, here's the Pro Tool. If you use one hand just to push the light in to make sure the tabs are in the groove, and then put this on that square part and lightly turn it. Okay. My camera setup um, doesn't come across really here. Now it seems way different, but I got a white balance of 5,000. ISO speed at 1600, shutter at 140th, exposure value, I gotta watch because I can't set everything, one of them's always automatic and that's at 1.7, but it makes the picture look as close to real life as I can get it, I could probably spend more time screwing with it, but overall that's about <clears throat> the best I can do, so that's what I'm gonna take the pictures with. And again, they look real white on camera, but... See how blue the reflector looks. I mean, not the reflector, the side marker uh, corner area, even though that's actually pretty white in real life. So the halogens are kind of yellow. I mean, it doesn't even light up the side of the road good enough to see this grass in front of me. Okay, about to pop on the HIDs, let them warm up. Um, while they're doing that, I gotta say, at 33 years old, I would like to say I'm not scared of the dark, but uh, when I'm out there under the hood changing the headlights, all I got is my uh, LED flashlight on my uh, phone propped up laying on something so it's lighting up like the tiny area where I'm changing the headlight. Everything around me is just pitch black. Um, I do look over my shoulder a little more than I would like to admit while I'm out here. But I guess at least I can make myself do it without freaking out, so I got that going for me. So now, you can see the headlight is actually bluer than the corner. The, that LED side, or running light, whatever you want to call it, doesn't even look blue anymore. Now it looks yellow. In truth, that's like pure white, kinda. The HADs are a little blue. I'm not sure if the auto exposure changes on uh, the GoPro that much but I mean you see a little more of the grass on here looks way way better though way better all right I got my HIDs cooling off a little bit before I put them inside and let them melt anything and I just wanted to hear you can probably hear the fan A 
nice thing about them though is they're instant on, no warm up, warm up time, like the HIDs, and they look even better. Let's see about brightness in a second though. Start the car so it's fair, so everything has the same voltage. So here's what they look like from inside. Another car is coming. So let's see. They still are a little bluer than the uh, corner light, but they match pretty good on camera here. Sounds superish, but I'm pretty sure that's a Scion TC. So yeah, walking around, they match pretty much perfectly from this angle. As you start walking around the front, the LEDs might take on a slightly bluer tint, but I mean, pretty much almost any angle, they match about perfect with those uh, corners, the LEDs. looks a little bluer there and obviously in real life it barely does Let's see if you can see this grass over here any better with the LEDs I feel like you can the camera doesn't show it though so I'll take the pictures with my phone and we'll figure it out for watching please subscribe hope you enjoyed take care and see you on the next one